Hi guys, Lady Lush here and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, my voice is still mash and I'm going to keep on saying it until it's better. But what can I do? First of all, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. And second of all, today I'm just going to make a quick rules video for my new challenge that I've just posted. And the challenge is a single dad gone off the rails challenge. It's a single dad raising seven kids, but I've left the rules on my blog. But I thought it would be nice if I just make a quick video of the rules, just because some people like visual. So um, I'm just going to quickly do a rundown of the rules. First things first, guys, you want to create a sim. And this challenge, uh, we're going to need a husband and wife to start the game. So this will be the wife. Um, for the purpose of a quick video, I'm just going to put wife. Yes, very good. Wife. We <laughs> so creative. Um, so the wife, her traits are gonna be. Um, she's gotta be the romantic uh, soulmate because she's actually not gonna be in the, the game very long, which is quite sad. But um, she's gonna be cheerful. I mean, technically, you can choose her. Um, trade West cheerful. Well, she's gonna be family orientated, uh, romantic and cheerful is what I was hoping to find. Is there a romantic? Hmm. Where's the romantic? Okay, cheerful is right there and romantic. So this will be her. Um, obviously, you, you do her up how you want to. Um, also, we'll make the. The man of the man of the man. <laughs> the man of the hour. Let's get him going as well. So, I'm just going to leave him as it is. But obviously, as I say, you create your sim. Husband and wife. Also, what I've done in my series, I created a mum and dad for our wife. Um, because they're going to be needed later on. Uh, his traits are going to be... Uh, where are they? Hmm, where's the family one? There we go. His traits are gonna be a super parent. Super parent! He is gonna absolutely hate kids. Where are ya? Damn, I can never find the stuff. All right, he's gonna be evil. He's going to. Where is the hate kids? Oh wait, it's right there. I missed it. Ah, go back. Ah, there. Wait. Yeah. Evil hate kids. That's what I'm talking about, man. He's not gonna be um very cool, is he? <laughs> and he's gotta be um, hot-headed as well. So where's that one? So he's um, where's hot headed? Oh, there it is. Right. So these were the traits that you're gonna need for him. Um, so you want him to be a super parent, evil, hates kids, and hot headed. Those are a must for this because he's not gonna be no nice guy. I mean, he is to start with. So this is, uh, I say, you could create the Sims how you want. Um, you can create other people to live in the world with you as I said you can make a mum and dad for the wife because um, your firstborn kids are going to actually have to live there so a quick back story is that um, unfortunately the old fella over here he hates kids because his wife dies in a house fire shortly after giving birth to their child he didn't want kids he never has wanted kids but he loved his wife so much that he was like okay we'll do this she was like come on dude like we've moved into a new house like i desperately want kids and i think we can make this work and he was like you know what i love you so much that if um, you want kids, we're gonna have kids. So he went and hit, did that. She gave birth. Um, she had a house 
that she was burned to death in a house fire which is really tragic um, and that is a rule she has to burn in a fire whether you bring rockets into the house or she burns herself in the kitchen somehow you got to make it work make her burn in that fire baby um as i said he feels like it was the pregnancy and the kids that caused that to happen she wasn't sleeping she was stressed as i said she's normally cheerful and happy but the pregnancy it took its toll on her and um, her lack of awareness in the kitchen or trying to celebrate indoors caused this incident um, okay so once your characters are created and remember to put them as husband and wife too um, you can either build the house yourself use a pre-existing home as long as it comes to the value between 20 and 22 thousand pound I think that's the money that you would get for two people living together um, so once you've got your house set the lot traits to um, on the lay romantic aura and then you can choose what your third option is uh, the reason why we want romantic aura because there's got to be a lot of romance going on in here and on the ley line the likelihood of twins is possible so that will make it more exciting and interesting if you've got two kids to work with at once so this will be the house that I'll actually be using when I start my let's play um, it's just got the the basics that you need what do you got just a little cot in there just the basic stuff that you need to get started um, our household funds what we have left is 1,900 so the dad wherever he is he cannot get a job he is not permitted to get a job um, he's a stay-at-home dad so he can make money however he sees fit whether it be drawing, painting, rummaging around for stuff um, as long as he's at home making that money that's the, the main aim of the game here um, cheats are only allowed if it's to like, build or move objects um, if you're using custom content that's absolutely fine you cannot cheat needs you cannot cheat needs you gotta work those needs out the only way that you can solve their needs is if you buy potions so if you get enough um, award po points you can use points um, to I don't know if you wanna sort out toilet needs or sleep needs or anything like that you could use the potions for that but no cheats are allowed for that please because obviously it makes it harder because it will become a struggle lifespan I'm choosing to do it on long First things first, we need to get these guys in the house, woohooing, and try for a baby. So that is step one of the rules. Get in and try for that baby, guys. Go on, folks. You can do it. In you go. So, we know what happens here. So after that is done, make sure you go and take a pregnancy test. And um, hopefully she's pregnant. If not... Keep trying until you get pregnant. Yay, Edith for two. A wicked. And because we're on the ley line, hopefully we'll get some twins up in this too. And um, look at him. He's not too happy about it. But <laughs> they'll get over it. So at this stage you would have had all your, your baby mamas and they would have all been booted out by now. Your first two kids or one depending on what you had uh, with your wife, um, they should have moved out to stay with grandparents, friends or family while you were messing around and getting all the other kids because they can't all fit in the house at the same time because you need three baby mamas in the house at the same time and uh, that is three pregnant women in the house at the same time because once the mums have had the babies they leave they must leave if they have more babies than um, necessary that mum this will be the final mum uh, she can take that child with her and we'll arrange some time for the dad to get to see the child and the siblings to get to meet up with that child but you have to remember an essential part of this challenge 
is three mums or baby mums living in the house with you at the same time so uh good luck with that also try not to get caught cheating it might be a bit hard but try if you can do it try not to get caught cheating um it just makes it a bit more fun it's if you can't do that that's fine it's absolutely fine um also in terms of the kids you're a stay-at-home dad so you're going to be spending a lot of time with your kids but obviously you still need to get out and go to the bar so you can hire a nanny um i'm sure that's quite fine and also you can have a bar in your home so if you need to drink you just go to the bar at home um, you are allowed out three times a week whether it be going to the gym on a day or whatever it is so three times a week your kids may go to daycare while you go and do something but it's gonna cost you it'll be 350 pound for your childcare funds and that's not actually too bad so it's like 50 pound a child um, for in order for those to for you to get out let's see what they are, these guys are going to do obviously this is not the actual gameplay this has just been put together for the sake of making this rules video i'll just let them wander around while we make the rest of this video so once all the women have left the house you've got your first kids back in the house and they will be older than the others but we've got to try and keep the kids as close in age as possible because you're you're a love rat you're a dirty dirty love rat and um, you just got everyone pregnant and you thought you could get away with it but the mums weren't having it um, so that will be fun and also you have to fall out with all of your baby mamas so they all must dislike you that's another part of the rule is that they must dislike you um, and also two kids at some point when they get a bit older maybe when they turn to a teen or something they've got to start to dislike you as well because the relationship wasn't very good um, so another rule is all the kids have to grow up to young adults um, all children must have at least one character value trait when they turn to a young adult it's kind of it might be quite hard but you know I feel like you can do it um, also as toddlers You've got to see at least two to three toddlers be maxed out with all of their skill gains and levels. <laughs> it's quite hard. It's manic. But if we can see some of those be maxed out to full level, that'll do you good. And also when um, they get older and start getting jobs, we've got to max out their jobs and main aspiration. Their dad needs to see that happen. It's a must, okay? Um, also, in terms of jobs, one child must become a detective, doctor or scientist. No matter how the lifestyle was, they still made it big for themselves. So one child, at least, become a detective, a doctor or scientist. The others, they can choose their jobs, but they still need to complete their jobs and their chosen aspiration when they get older. Um, if you're a season pack owner, this is where also we will create a family reunion day and this is for any siblings that don't get to live in the household and the parents i.e the mums to come and hang out with their kids um we're going to have the family reunion day air grievances should be an option in this oh they're getting stressed <laughs> imagine and this isn't the gameplay um so air grievances should be an option so we have a little vibra remember he doesn't get on with the mums you've got to make that actual thing as well so while they're growing we want to make sure that um let's just pause this a second while they're growing we want to make sure that obviously the house is growing too because this house it's just not gonna cut it there's no beds or anything in there yet because obviously this is demonstration purposes but you're gonna need beds for everybody potty all the good stuff you're gonna need so you can build as you go um, you can move house or maybe you have a pre-built house that you want to move them into you can also do that um, I think that's most of it so the challenge will be completed if you all of the above stuff that i've said if you do all of that so wife's on fire 
yeah, you know, all the, all the stuff that I've just said. Rise of the fire, you must drink every night. You must have three um, pregnant women living with you at one time. You must send your kids away whilst you are completing this challenge to fill up the house. And then obviously bring them back. Um, you also need to make sure that obviously the dad completes his aspiration of a super parent the toddlers complete their aspirations um or should i say their skills to max level if you can get three plus toddlers at max level that would be fantastic um long lifespan no cheats except for um moving the wives or the girlfriends out of the house and building and stuff like that but no cheating needs especially have it on long lifespan and that will be good you will fail this challenge if your kids get taken into care you don't raise them alone and um, that's after your your last child is born as i said you can have a nanny and you can have um daycare but it's limited don't overdo it Three times a week is perfectly fine to, to go out and have fun by yourself. Um, a nanny, you can't have them just in the house all the time. The brunt of the work or the bulk of it has to be done with the dad. Um, obviously, it's failed if the dad doesn't complete his aspirations. Um, the kids don't complete their aspirations and their job. And um, you have to drink every day. And you've got to be mean and evil to your baby mamas and two kids. And I think that wraps up this dad gone off the rail, guys. So please let me know if you try it. The link for the rules will be in uh, the description. And please watch my uh, series going on too and let me know what you think. So uh, it looks like they're having fun. So I'll leave it to that. And my voice is still rubbish, but it'll be back soon. I'll see you later, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Bye-bye.